Hi, I'm Chef Rafael, and welcome to a new episode of Cooking with Chef Rafael. Today's recipe is mini mandazis. They are sweet, delicious pastries that you'll enjoy whether for breakfast or as a snack. Let's get started. So for the ingredients of the mandazi, we need all-purpose flour and for that we'll add some baking powder. We need some sugar, margarine. Now the margarine will actually make the mandazi softer. Uh, and then we'll also have eggs and milk. And the ratio for baking powder to the flour is for 100 grams you add one teaspoon of baking powder. Six tablespoons of sugar. Now the amount of sugar is um, up to you. Um, if you like it then extra sweet, you can add slightly more. And then to this I'll add the margarine. I'll add about one tablespoon of margarine. Now if you can also use butter, if that's what you prefer. Um, it's just that the margarine, like the one I'm having here, is has the vanilla flavor. So it also adds some flavor to the mandazis. I will um, beat my eggs. I have two eggs and then I'll add the eggs to the milk and that will form the wet ingredients which I'll add to the flour. Now I'm sure some of you are wondering what if I don't like eggs. Uh, it's, ac it's actually it is possible to skip the eggs even the milk as well but for that I'll do another recipe so that you actually understand the difference I'll do another recipe a, a little bit later so that you have both options so the idea when kneading just like you're doing any dough is to make sure that the flour does not get sticky and it stop um, and it not doesn't stick to your hand or does stick to your to the to the bowl and if you feel that your dough is uh, too big for your bowl, you can always transfer it to your work surface. We knead it until it becomes uh, uh, smooth and not sticky. So the dough is ready. As you can see, it's smooth. It's not sticky. Just form it into a ball and then place it into your bowl. So now we let it rest, uh, we'll cover it and then we'll leave it to rest from anything from 30 minutes to an hour or even longer because the longer it stays what happens with mandazi it will give it the dough time and the baking powder to react with the flour and then when they, they start when you're cooking them, you'll find them puffing up nicely. The idea is to start rolling it, and when you're rolling it, what will happen is that you need some flour, just like any other dough. I'm just rolling it into one big uh, piece, not too thick, and then using a sharp knife, or you can also use a, a pizza cutter, it actually makes it easier. I'll cut them into squares. So even as, as I continue with the cutting, it's also a good idea before you start uh, rolling it, you put on your stove and then you add the oil because we're actually going to deep fry the mandazi. So you need a big pot and cooking oil. So the idea is to let it be hot until the right frying temperature, which is about 180 degrees. What should just matter is whatever shape you decide to cut them, whether it's round, the idea is to get the thickness right. So the oil is hot enough, now it's time for frying. Um, start by, I usually like doing it 
two hands at a time and just dip them into the oil. When they are brown, nice golden brown, that's the time you know it's time to turn. So when they are evenly browned on both sides, the same color, which is golden brown, remove them using a slotted spoon. So they are actually now fully cooked and one thing I need to note is that with Bandazi, this is their characteristics. They actually puff up. If you don't want it to be too thick, then you can, I mean, too, uh, with the flesh on the inside, just roll it a little bit thinner but not too thin because you also need to give it room for it to expand. So that has been my guide on how to make mandazi. Uh, mind you, when you're serving them, let them cool down. You can also serve them, you can sprinkle some icing sugar on them when you're, or you just serve them plain. And remember they are soft because of the margarine that we put on when we are do making the dough. And I hope you've learned something. Uh, if you actually go wrong somewhere, at least now you know where you go wrong and I'm looking forward to your feedback. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more recipes and tips. Until next time, goodbye.